Hello everyone, uh, this is Kamal Bunkar. In today's video, we are going to learn about how to integrate Paytm all in one SDK. Okay, so the Paytm has introduced the new version of SDK, which is named as the all in one. Okay, so when you will visit the Paytm official website, so there you can see the all in one SDK. Okay, there is uh, no previous version. So uh, the best part of this uh, SDK is you need to integrate one SDK which is work on both way if Paytm app is installed in the customer phone so it will complete the payment via Paytm app if the app is not installed in the customer phone then the payment will be complete via web view okay so you don't need to worry about the payment it will be done in any case okay and also this SDK is working on Android and in, in iOS as well okay so first of all I will just show you the uh, uh, view how it will work on uh, how, how how it will look on your phone okay in production mode so I am uh, showing this uh, tutorial in production mode only I am using the production mode key okay and also I have uh, mentioned everything in detail in comment segment so if you want to test in test mode so you can uh, do that as well okay so but in production mode it is working fine so I have also uploaded the video how it will look so if you will just check my phone let me let me just hide my cam okay so this is the app okay and if I uh, click over there so there I am getting the transaction token and after that there is the Paytm screen you can't see because the screen recorder is off by the Paytm for the security reason so if I click on cancel so it is asking you can see okay so same thing if you can see I have uploaded the video over there <coughs> so this is how it will look when you will run the app okay so it is in production mode not in test mode okay so don't worry now so just visit the Paytm official website they have uh, written everything in details but some part is not clear some part means uh, there is a uh, misleading information uh, suppose like uh, gender the transaction token okay so if you go to the this link I think I already opened that one okay so there there you can see all the details okay but if you visit the their github library so there is some part is not clear okay so don't worry i have written everything in details and also you can download paytm all in one sdk source code from my website okay so just visit blueappsoftware.com tutorial so you will find this tutorial okay and the below the video you can see the this form just fill the name and email and submit it because a lot of uh, my website visitor has uh, told me that the they cannot download the source code just put the name and email and submit it so download will start automatically okay and i have also explained everything in detail so you don't need to worry about it the code is very simple okay <clears throat> so uh, let me close this one okay and now I am going to tell you the how you can integrate that part okay so as you can see in official website Paytm all-in-one okay you need to uh, add the dependency there is a flowchart and everything is uh, available uh, yeah. very yeah there it is okay so it is saying that you need to add this dependency in project level and this implement dependency in module level grader file okay so you can just copy it so this is my project level grader file I copy it and I push, uh, put it there okay don't need to change anything and also add Paytm dependency Paytm invoked SDK 1.2 okay and also I already added this retrofit libraries dependency so uh, we need to get the token transaction token from the server so for that one I am using that one okay so just understand how 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 it will work 
so basically uh suppose this is the paytm server okay and this is our android app and this is our server okay so first we will start the transaction from our android app okay so first of all we will call our server to get the transaction token in server side there is the merchant id okay so uh, you know how to get the merchant id and merchant key from the paytm dashboard if you don't so just visit the paytm business.paytm.com and there you need to create account in account in setting segment there you can see the keys okay so just get it i am using the production mode key okay i am not using the test mode key i am using production mode key for this tutorial right now okay and every code is written for the production mode okay so uh, yeah or uh, in if you want to get the production mode key you need to publish the app on play store and just get the link and uh, then uh, put this uh, publish app link on the production detail segment then there you can uh, get the uh, merchant id and merchant key for production mode okay <clears throat> so again please come back to the point so in this uh, segment what i was telling yeah okay so how to uh, how how all this thing work okay so from android side first we will get the token from our server this server means our server will use the merchant key and it will call the paytm server to get the fresh token okay every time whenever you will start the transaction token should be a new one okay you can cannot reuse the token so first get the transaction token once you will get the transaction token there you will add some extra parameters mid and other details and then you will call the paytm to complete the uh, payment okay so this part will be done by the paytm all in one sdk okay and once the payment is done you will get the response <coughs> response will be of two types one is the successful second is failure okay if you will get the successful response so the error code is minus 1 and if you will get the failed response uh, response so the code is zero okay so don't get confused about that one once you will get the successful response so if you move on uh, means uh, go further so you can also verify the transaction status from your server you need to put another uh, api on your server and this api can verify that your transaction is successful or not okay sorry not this one like that and you will get the response again so this is how it will work totally now it is a little bit messy but uh, i think you get the idea about that one okay so <clears throat> so the first part is add the dependency so now uh, we have one dependency in project level and second dependency in module level gradle file okay and in manifesto file you don't need to add paytm activity as we did in the earlier uh, uh, integration uh, paytm integration uh, that we was using for the 2019 or something so uh, there we need to add the activity paytm activity in manifesto file but this time we don't need to do anything okay so uh, one one thing you need to add is internet permission and also clear text clear text is the one xml file that you need to add on your uh, project to tell that i am getting the token from my server so basically it is a your server name okay so it is very simple code if you don't uh, know about that so just uh, search on the stack overflow how to add network security config file <coughs> so this is my uh, subdomain so i am getting the token from this one only okay so one two now i am just going to remove this one and no no use of this one okay now come to the activity part activity part is very simple in my layout file as you can see in the video i have put only one text box edit text box uh, which is for the amount only okay so uh, also i am using a 
MID key, you need to write your production mode MID key over there. Okay. And other details we will fetch one by one. This is the order ID, order ID, or uh, uh, it is one random number. Okay. You can generate because uh, a lot of user uh, told me about that how to generate the order ID or transaction ID. Earlier it was the transaction ID. I have written in uh, something like that TXT ID in my earlier tutorials. Okay. So both are the same. Don't worry about that one. Okay. So this order ID can be generated from your uh, Android side or can be you uh, means you can get it from your server if you are managing order ID from server side. Okay. So it is all up to you. Uh, if you are not managing your server, so you just create one uh, order ID. It must be unique every time. So that's why we are using a date time function and putting some random values. <coughs> you can use your own conversation also to get the order ID. Okay. Now once uh, we get the order ID uh, and we get the amount in the edit text. Okay. And customer hit the submit button. So first we need to get the token. To get the token, I am using a retrofit. A retrofit library is very simple. Okay. And it is very efficient to use the retrofit. Okay. You will get the, all the details uh, in a uh, stack overflow about the retrofit, how to use it. It is very simple. Okay. So there I am passing a few values, MID, order ID and amount to this php file nit transaction dot php file okay so just have a look on this file in this file as i told you you need to put merchant key okay so there i am i have created one parameter name is the merchant key just put your merchant key okay when you will download this code you won't get the merchant key which is mine version key okay so uh, just change this value and there you can see <coughs> other parameter are, uh, I have already defined currency in uh, INR customer ID if you want a custom uh, means dynamic customer ID so you can pass one extra value from Android there you need to create another parameter customer ID and then you can use it over there okay so there I am generating the token okay so if uh, how to get this file where it is actually so if you will go through this uh, url documents.checksum there you need to click on php when you will click on php so you will get get this uh, link okay this link so this is the actual paytm checksum and there is a sample code <coughs> if you click on this sample code so it is uh, look a little bit different from my one okay so whatever i have written over there it is a little bit different okay but i am calling the same function generate signature generate signature okay i am calling this function only and some other parameter i am using over there it is also mandatory okay so this information is not available in this github so you need to uh, use the custom uh, files which I already created over there. Just download the source code and you can use it. Okay. So once you will get the token from the server, it will be look something like that. Mm. Uh, if I, I am, where it is? Yeah. Okay. So it will like look like this. Okay, so header and there you can see the message is successful. So authentication is so these are the extra parameter. If you, you are passing this parameter, then it will be true, otherwise false. <coughs> okay. Once you will get the token, after that you need to start the transaction, Paytm transaction. So I have created one separate function for this one, start Paytm payment. And I am using this token, which which I get from the server, mine server. Okay, so there you can see I have written in command 
if you are using this code in test mode so you need to enable this line otherwise for the production mode you need to use this one okay host and this is the callback url just we are uh, using this host name only okay this may be this one or maybe this one okay for the production mode i am using this one now once we get all this parameter callback url mid oh sorry mid token amount and order id or transaction id whatever you can say so once we get all this parameter we need to just create one object of paytm order and we need to start transaction manager i am using a transaction manager over there only like transaction manager is equal to new transaction manager like that but if you don't want to work that way you can implement it directly in activity like implement just put the transaction manager so there you can see paytm.com okay so you can use uh, that way also both are the uh, both will work fine okay so once you will write this code okay so there you can see on transaction response and other method as well so the response of this function will go there in on activity result okay in on activity result you will get the response something like that i have written in comment segment so if there also i have mentioned in the comment if minus code is minus code a minus one result code is minus one means successful if it is zero means failed okay <clears throat> so and also i have mentioned one error which is a uh, network error if suppose uh, you are running this code and you will see that uh, this pop up box this pop up box just pop up and again hide okay so what you need uh, when you will then you will see in the log gate so you will see this error network error so that means your key is incorrect or maybe you are using incorrect key in incorrect mode means you are using the test key in production mode or maybe production key in test mode okay and also you need to cross check these lines so it should be correct okay once you will get the response it will get, uh, look like something uh, it will look like this response code is minus 1 transaction txn successful is equal to oh sorry uh, status is transaction successful this is your uh, final response so you can uh, understand that your transaction is successful okay and there you can see the bank id and also you will get one transaction id okay so you can store this bank id and transaction id in your server for further details okay so it is very pretty simple code uh, you need to just write few lines of code only so main main important point is this one and before that this is just for the token so for the token you need to just upload the php file that i already built okay so you need to just upload it on your server and just change the url path where you have put your file just change it okay so uh, so this is very easy to implement this paytm all in one sdk in your android app or maybe in a ios app okay and if still you will face any problem during this integration so you can contact via my website okay there is a chat box available so you can use that chat box okay and also we are using this uh, paytm all in one sdk in our android app which we are uh, giving for the resale also okay and this is also all the app that we have developed for the clients okay so if you want to check it so you can just click over there so you can download it as well okay so that's it for the today's video and see you tomorrow in next video okay bye